All right, ladies and gentlemen of D-Class personnel, sit down. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Commander And what we're looking at here today, pass these around, SCP-4161, object class is safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-4161 is contained in a standard anomalous object storage locker in sight. Well, I mean, to you, this would be the number five. Testing is only to take place within level four clearance from Project Starry Eyes director, John Myers. D-15387 is never to be separated from SCP-4161. Description. SCP-4161 is a desiccated humanoid entity 165 centimeters tall, weighing 47.7 kilograms. It's seated in a cross-legged position and clothed in an orange robe. While in its inactive state, SCP-4161 is deceased on a cellular level. SCP-4161 is operable in a manner similar to a laptop computer. However, it is structured atypically with components separated and located in different portions of the body. These parts include a motherboard located within SCP-4161 stomach, a four gigabyte Samsung brand RAM card embedded within the liver, an Intel i3 processing unit located within the right ventricle of the heart, a power supply inside the colon with a power cable that extends from the base of the spine. In place of a tongue, SCP-4161 has a USB 2.0 cable extruding from the lower larynx and protruding up through the esophagus, terminating in a male connector. A large touchscreen attached to SCP-4161's upper back with no visible branding. If its power cable is inserted into a compatible outlet, SCP-4161's body temperature will rise as the components within it begin to function. Its cells will begin to undergo respiration and the screen on its back will turn on to display a simple button-based selector screen. When activated, SCP-4161 is capable of vocal communication with its user. Initial discovery. SCP-4161 came to Foundation attention on April 12, 2019 after a report of supernatural activity in a Buddhist temple came to the attention of the Chinese Ministry of Public Safety. Embedded personnel intercepted the report and an MTF, you can read that, basically karma, was ordered to investigate due to a possible connection with GOI-084 Galactic Federation. Subject, Kenshin Zhang, interviewer, acting commander, Zhang Shu. Begin log. Zhang enters the inner chamber of the temple. Zhang. Hello, is anyone here? Zhang, you've arrived. Come, sit. Zhang, I'll stand, thank you. I'm with the ministry. We received reports of abnormal activity here. Zhang, I know. I made them. Zhang, they were more than a bit vague. Could you explain exactly what the problem is? The Kenshin motions to his left where SCP-4161 is seated on a stone pedestal. It is covered in orange cloth. Zhang, I was raised from childhood in the temple. I've spent my life surrounded by mystical artifacts. That is not one of them. Zhang, what do you mean? Zhang, it radiates a screaming aura of negativity. Artifacts are not cursed objects. They are merely focal points of the universe's energies. That, that is a hole into which those energies are slipping. It is not meant to exist. Zhang, I'm sorry, but I cannot allocate national resources to dealing with what is essentially a hunch. Zhang, fine. See for yourself then. The Kenshin rises from his position and approaches SCP-4161. He quickly pulls the cloth away from it. Zhang, Tama De, which is basically a Mandarin expletive. SCP-4161's eyes are rolled entirely backward into its head and its jaw is rapidly snapping open and shut. A brown liquid is dripping from its nostrils, collecting in a pool on the stone floor, and engorged veins are clearly visible all over its body. It is speaking in a low hiss. SCP-4161. The soul in the sky is a mistake, and the mistake will be crushed by the one, and the one will arrive on the mount to bleed the disbelievers, and the disbelievers will forget the soul in the sky. And the soul in the sky is a mistake, and the mistake... SCP-4161 stops chanting momentarily and shudders. With a heaving noise, it leans forward and begins choking. It opens its mouth to expel a cicada, which rapidly flies out of a window. Jang notices the power cord attached to SCP-4161 and moves to remove it. It ceases activity. End log. 
Afterward, following the incident, SCP-4161 was seized and brought to Site 5. Experiment log, forward. D-15387 was selected to conduct experiments on SCP-4161. Format, input, button selected. Response, vocal response from SCP-4161. Begin log, screen one. Three buttons are visible on an otherwise dark screen. They are marked. Input, W-H-O, who. Response, you are currently utilizing version 1.19.1 of the Metempsychosis Assistant for the glory of the one. Please press more information for more information. Screen two, a small button is marked more information. Input, more information. Response, this unit was originally inhabited by the Vijnana of Fang Xin Yang. His soul has since been recycled to assist in the construction of the throne that will herald the Lord. He will be forgotten as a proper servant should. Screen one. Three buttons are visible on an otherwise dark screen. They are marked and begin sumsara. Input. Response. The glory and eternal throne sits in the emptiness of the void, the weight of its own power casting darkness over the stars around it. Screen one. Three buttons are visible on an otherwise dark screen. They are marked who and begin samsara. Input, begin samsara. Response, are you sure? This process cannot be halted once begun. Screen three, two buttons are visible. Both are unmarked. D-15387 is told to select one at random and chooses the leftmost button. Input, N slash A. Response, judgment. Your soul is that of a tiriak, an animal. You merely fear that which passes across your mind, fading through your consciousness. You do not deserve samsara. You will be repurposed for his throne. D-15387 screams for a moment before a computer fan exits SCP-4161 at high velocity and impales his throat. SCP-4161 twists 180 degrees on its spine before wrapping its arms around D-15387, pulling him into a tight embrace. Blood spills out through D-15387's trachea and SCP-4161 coughs before expelling a single processor chip. It uses one arm to force it under D-15387's eyelid who ceases activity. Indecipherable muttering is audible from SCP-4161. Afterward, D-15387 has since been designated SCP-4161-B. Dash B was x-rayed as part of a standard anomalous conversion screening procedure revealing the presence of a 2014 iPad Pro in SCP-4161-B's gallbladder. Further testing is currently suspended. End log. Addendum 4161-3. Audio recording. On August 15th, 2020, a radio signal was detected from SCP-4161's containment locker. A recording and transcript is attached. I'll go ahead and play it for you. Now, this is incident 4161-2. Four hours after following the radio signal, a small pop-up window was noted on scp 4161 screen. A screenshot will be passed around. All right, go ahead and show everybody that. What it says is current location, Taurus Void. Destination, Moon. Time until launch, 00.01.46. Thank you for participating in the enlightenment of the glove of humans by the glorious second Siddhara. Your contribution will be remembered when you are judged in his presence. Three buttons. Okay, ignore and accept. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was SCP-4161. Dismissed. <laughs>